think that we uh, need to explore every avenue on behalf of our client before he's sentenced. Five years after Wade Wilson brutally murdered Christine Melton and Diane Ruiz, the women's family and friends now have to wait another month before he's sentenced. Today, the judge granted Wilson's request to delay the decision on whether or not he gets the death penalty. NBC2 Samantha Serban is local at Lee County Courthouse, where the defense said Wilson needs another medical evaluation. Samantha? You can tell by the look on the judge's face today, he was not happy with the defense's request to push sentencing at least a month out so they could get new brain scans done on the now convicted double murderer. In order to provide as effective assistance of counsel as we possibly can for our client. Just four days before Wade Wilson was set to find out his fate for killing Diane Ruiz and Christine Melton during a 2019 crime spree, his attorneys are asking for more time. Their opinion uh, uh, could shoot us in the foot. It could be helpful. I don't know, but I don't have it. They want a psychologist and a neurologist to meet with the convicted killer and even get brain scans done. Well, they'll show that there's either there is or is not organic brain damage. Obviously, if there's brain damage, that's something for the court to consider in light of the other evidence that's already come to the court's attention. Prosecutors say there's no need. They say the doctors who testified during the trial already proved it. To me, it's just the fishing expedition to try to say that he has some sort of brain damage when the records and all the evidence that came out don't support that. Hi, this is Judge Nick Thompson. Judge Nick Thompson personally called the two doctors in open court to ask them how quickly they could get this done, even though the state claims it's all pointless. Judge, I, I don't see that it's necessary, given what the jurors heard, what they had. Um, we could be here till the end of time calling different experts, different people, having different tests done. The judge ultimately granted the request and pushed sentencing out to August 27th. Of course, we'll be here along the way to let you know what the judge decides. Life in prison or lethal injection. I'm local from downtown Fort Myers. Smith Serban, NBC2.